Uh, everything's been good. It's been a smooth summer so far. We got a lot of the young guys in, um, some of the transfers. So you know, we're we're, we're getting to work here and, and trying to get the get our guys underway, get the guys adapted to the new system, and uh, you know, just moving forward, heading in the right direction. I mean, what's it like for you knowing that you know Dusan's gone, DeAndre's gone, Marvin Lewis started his summer? How do you approach that in the summer? Um, for me, it's kind of been a long time coming. Um, so I'm going to say, I mean, for me, it feels like I really have played in almost three years. So uh, getting an opportunity now, um, I feel like my table's kind of set. And uh, it's going to be a great opportunity for, for everybody this year to kind of step up and, and, and show show their worth, show their value on the court. And, uh, we got a lot of great guys, so it's going to be good for everybody to get their uh, their opportunity. What are some of the biggest things you took away from a year away from basketball? Man, um, you just develop an, an appreciation for it. You know, when, when you're not allowed to play to play the game, you, you kind of, the, the amount of appreciation you have um, being away from getting on the court and actually playing in games, I feel like that's the biggest thrill of uh, playing the game of basketball. And when you can't do that, it's, it, it takes your spirit a little bit, but it also makes you appreciate the game a lot more. When you decided to transfer, what were the reasons you decided to come here out of all the other places? Um, I had a great relationship with Coach Miller um, initially uh, from uh, our experience at USA Basketball. So um, just having that, that comfortability uh, with a head coach like Coach Miller and, and, and knowing that I wanted to be uh, somewhere closer to home and, and have the chance to, you know, my, my parents are going to be able to watch me play. and. Uh, just uh, play for a great program like Arizona. And everything seemed to fit. How was it going through last year as an observer, close to it when it was you know kind of struggles, wins, struggles? Uh, you learn a lot, um, and, and I'd say the one thing I learned the most is that in terms of you know watching your teammates play and, and them seeing them go through the struggles they go through, it makes it easy for you to kind of say like, well, this is all you have to do. And if, if you can do that for your teammate, if you can say that for your teammate, and then they can do the same thing, then you can also do the same thing for yourself. So, um, whenever I would see a teammate struggling or or you put his head down after a bad play or something, you know, it's just kind of that next play mentality. You learn, you learn to adapt that, and in turn, it works for yourself. Frustrated that you couldn't help physically on the court. Um, I feel like I was in certain regards, but um, my role last year on the team, I feel like I was able to, you know, kind of still be a leader behind the scenes, and um, I helped in a lot more ways than, than people would know. Um, I feel like uh, my teammates know that, and, and moving forward, um, that's going to be a big role for not only me, but the returning guys as well. What do you learn going up against DeAndre Ayton every day in practice? Uh, DeAndre, is, he's a hell of a player, and uh, you know, going up against a guy like uh, DeAndre every day and, and, and dealing with his strength and his physicality and his skill set, you know, it, it forces you to improve. So um, going against a guy like him every day and, and Dusan as well, um, guys like that, you know, it, it forces you to get better. And uh, that's, that's exactly what I did. How have you changed as a player since your time at Duke? Um, just, I think the biggest thing is confidence. Um, my opportunity to do. Um, was limited, so uh, when I got here, um, there was no, you know, no stress. Um, my confidence was through the roof, and I think the biggest thing moving forward for me is that um, I'm confident and I'm secure with who I am as a player. And moving forward, I know that. You had some back issues when you were there. How are you doing now, physically? I haven't had a back issue since I've been at Arizona. People, uh, people haven't really seen what you can do since maybe high school. Um, what, what can Arizona fans expect? What type of player? Man, just a guy who's going to, you know, give it his all. Uh, I run the floor very well, very mobile, rebound, defend well, uh, score the ball in the low block um, in the mid post, my mid range game. Uh, you know, just uh, an all around uh, five guy who can, who can do it, do both jobs on both ends of the floor. As somebody, as you mentioned, pretty much spent three years out of the game of basketball, uh, and they were losing starting rotation. What does it mean to this year? There's no losing his top six scores, and really counted on to be that guy who's going to have that 35, 38, 40. Um, it's it's exactly what I wanted. Um, you know, initially when I went to Duke, it was the opportunity and the role that I wanted to fill. Um, and things didn't work out for me there. So once I got the opportunity here, I don't think anything could have worked out better um, for myself and, and for my teammates as well. Um, now that you know, everybody is kind of a you know, fresh start, uh, clean slate, guys with a chance to prove themselves, and, and now it's just time to you know time to work and get things headed in the right direction.